So Nick, you grew up dreaming of different things. Was one to represent Australia in the pool? Yeah, absolutely. As soon as I saw the Olympic Games, I wanted to be an Olympic swimmer. And you know, 25 years after being retired, I still dream about swimming. You know, I'll often, I'm no longer in swimming form, but I'll often wake up going, I just did a 200 backstroke in my sleep. And one? And it was good, yeah. <laughs> so if I could take you back to one moment you love the most. I go to Barcelona straight away. I go to the Olympic Games, July 31, 1992 at 10 minutes past eight. It's my 200 back. To be able to set a goal as a kid watching the Olympic Games on mum and dad's TV in you know suburban Melbourne yeah. uh, and saying I want to go to the Olympic Games to fast forwarding 12 years later and standing um, at, in an Olympic final knowing I'm in the best shape of my life um, is exactly where it takes me. So when were you told about diet and sleep? Were you 10, 12? I reckon I was really young when I was told about diet and sleep, particularly sleep. I had a coach that would always say to us, quality sleep before midnight, get as much as you can before midnight and you'll feel fresh in the mornings. And the other thing about being a swimmer is the daytime nap. Yep. Like there is nothing like a daytime nap. I, I would love 45 minutes at one o'clock yeah. every day if it was A, possible with children and B, socially accepted. Given that I work for your brother for a few more months, can you actually bring that in as like, can we get temper mattresses like rooms in? I think what should happen with the next uh, CEO, <laughs> yeah. he or she should just say, from one to 145. Siestas. Shut it down. Yeah, little temper sleep pods. All right, so next CEO, <laughs> Nick Spoken.